CataractCoach.com, ASCRS case number eight, IOL exchange, our favorite tips and tricks for this. So here's the twist and out technique. There's the IOL freedom from the caps or bag. We're holding it with nothing more than straight tying forceps. So straight tying forceps from the right hand, left hand has a chopper initially just to help get a good grasp of that IOL. And notice how it's being held at the optic edge, one haptic outside of the eye. Now a spatula goes in the eye, the AC is full of viscoelastic, and we're just going to twist this lens using that spatula to help twist it and also protect the endothelium. And you pull it right outside the eye. Wow, just like that. That simple. Yeah, that's the, the twist and out technique. Let me show you again. We've published this with my co-authors here in the JCRS. And the key is to start with the hand supinated. So you can pronate it and then keep rotating it. And you can remove these lenses. Here's a resident doing it now. As a resident in the beginning stages of training. So again, grasping the edge of the optic, the eyes full of viscoelastic, using the spatula here, the spatula goes above the optic to prevent it from touching the endothelium. Then you twist it, and you pull it right outside the eye. That's the twist and out technique. Here's an external view of the same thing. Again, grabbing it, twisting it, spatula to help, and pull it outside the eye. Now you can also do things like Bill Wiley here, uninject the lens. So he frees up the first lens, gets it out of the bag, into the AC, and now he'll put the new lens inside the capsular bag to protect it. So here comes the desired new lens. And then the, the top lens, which is the one that he wants to explant, he's going to do something very interesting. The Fukuoka forceps are going to be used, a long forcep in the middle of an empty lens injector cartridge to grab the lens and then pull it into that cartridge. You uninject the lens, just like that. So it works pretty well. Let me show you that video again. It's a rewound, grabbing it. The forceps are inside a cartridge. This is typical, typical lens injector cartridge. Then you can pull it out of the eye and you're done. So you can also uninject. Let me show you one last time. It's such a wild thing. You got to see it again. Grab it and uninject it. Now let's talk about this. How do you free the lens from the capsular bag? Here's a patient, has a multifocal lens in the capsular bag, doesn't want it anymore. So we're gonna make our incision here on that steep axis, and we're gonna carefully dissect this lens out. First thing is use a sharp needle, 27 gauge needle on the viscoelastic to inject it under the rex's edge. Now switching over to a blunt spatula to help separate that and create more room. And so once we've done that, now inject viscoelastic with the blunt cannula, and there's the viscoelastic wave going behind the optic and we're able to really help free that up. Now you have to separate the anterior and posterior leaflets of the capsular bag in order to free up the haptic. So one haptic's pretty easily freed, and then we'll bring the lens up and free up the other. And though this rex is on the small side, we'll still be able to get the lens out through it. And so if the lens has resistance, this typical lens, this type of lens has a bulbous tip on the end of the haptic. And so that can sometimes get locked into position. So if that's the case, you gotta really spend your time to help free it up. But here we got it up, and now you know what we're gonna do, put more viscoelastic under it, and then more on top to protect the cornea. And then we'll do our twist and out technique here. Again, holding the lens at the optic edge. I'm gonna use a chopper just to help secure that lens and get a better grab on it. And now the spatula goes in to protect the endothelium and also help us roll that lens. We just twist it and comes right out of the eye. Looks very easy. There is a method you can do. Let me show you this video from Jeff Whitman. You can cut the lens if you'd like as well. So here's the old lens coming up and the old lens is in the AC. The new lens now goes in the capsule bag. So that new lens will protect the posterior capsule. Very important, especially when you're gonna put a sharp instrument like micro scissors inside the eye. So new lens in the bag, the old lens is up in the AC, more viscous to give yourself more working room, and then slightly enlarge the incision here. And then you can cut the existing lens with a variety of different instruments. This is a special IOL cutter, and you can use scissors as well. But you can cut through this lens here. Sometimes it helps to fixate the lens. And you can cut it 100% the way through. You have two distinct halves, but you can also cut it mostly the way through. So the two halves are still connected by a degree, and that makes it easier to remove. But here's a full cut, and now you can see more viscoelastic is your friend here to give yourself some working room. And then you can pull out one half, and then the other half is still attached to the very end there. 
and so it facilitates removing it. So Smart Pro there, don't cut all the way through the optic, leave it a little bit attached to make your life easier. So these are some of the options you have if you need to perform an IOL exchange.